No, I'm just going to say protect the entire coastline. Requires 62 divisions. Yikes. I'm going to give you a random commander. Henry Gregg. There we are. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and train another 24 divisions. We'll just assign you to that same army. Now, where are you? You are on your way. Because these guys are going to try and attack us, although they have no organization, no equipment. So they're not going to be able to do anything. I just want to try and catch them before they try to flee. Isn't there a penalty for having too many carriers in the fleet? Yes, there is. But that penalty is definitely more than one. There's the signal companies, but we don't have any army experience to use it just now. Um, however, I think I would like to improve the recon companies. It's 43. I can get better medium tanks. Let's do that first. T20s. Off you go. And we also have factories available. So what am I short on? Light tanks. Let's get some more of those. Because we are going to need a lot of light tanks. Because I am going to try and switch my production to motorized. Especially when it comes to fighting Russia. Ah, oh, crap. You already built one. I didn't realize I had it set to... Yeah, I'm going to cancel that. I don't want more than one Yorktown. That's a waste. Never mind. And I'm currently getting my rubber from Malaya. I'm going to continue doing that, though that might be rather risky. And I apparently have too much chromium. Alright, have you guys arrived? Attention. No. When does my justification run out? Uh, does it not say? I know it does run out at some point. Thotty, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Oh, we already have these guys down here. Hold on, stop training and start driving that way. Ready to move. Right, you have organization. That's the important thing. All right, are we ready for this? I think we're ready for this. Let's save it first. <laughs> In case this goes horribly, horribly wrong. <coughs> Although I can't really see it happening that way. Has France fallen? Nope. Remember, there is no Hitler in this time frame, so World War II didn't really start until 1941. Which is why everything is a little bit behind. There we are. We're at war with China. You, go. Tanks. I'm going to put you with Rose, just so that Rose gets your experience. And you lot are going to rush up here because you are now at war with them. Ready to move. No, just the Reds. Ready. And then you, New Order, that, and I want you to take that, and I want you to do it. Okay. Then, you've been given your orders to go. Oh! Yeah, you are in the Soviet alliance. There we go. Nope, that's just war with China. Philippines have not been called in. Soviet Union has joined. Mongolia has been called.
Why did I lose my rubber trade? Uh, why does Britain suddenly hate me? Don't know. So I'm not doing anything against you. Not yet, anyway. Uh, why have? Oh crap! I realise what I've done wrong here. Yeah, that's a bit of a screw up. We're fine now. <laughs> We're fine. Um, yes, sir. How are you doing? Have you seen them off? You have. I just hope they didn't just sail away. Because I had nobody protecting this port if they did. I have no idea if we just killed them or not. Austria-Hungary has called Finland as our ally in the Austrian-Soviet war. Wait, have the... Have the allies just gone toward the Soviets? No. Oh, Finland's in the Central Powers. And he is fighting the Soviets. And the Soviets are losing. I just realized how much headway they've made. I've picked on the wrong guy, apparently. I'm not sorry. Sinking their stuff. No, I'm not giving you access. Alright, your job here is done. Good. Now, I want you... To go very, 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 very quickly up to San Francisco. Actually, LA. In fact, these guys can split out again because I do want you to be trained. But I still want you to be in LA so I can move you in when you are ready to go. Landings against the Chinese so far seem to be okay, but as soon as my organization is gone, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Because of the way that naval invasions work, the whole unit retreats. Which is derpy as all hell. But we have made a landing. Hold your horses. Okay. Attack here. Attack here. Attack here. Attack here. You do not want to let them attack you. And in the meantime, everybody else. Except for you. You can keep going. Uh, yeah, sells into there. Fine. There's the Philippines. Advance. The fall of Rome. Allied forces recently entered Rome after the surrender of its garrison. That's probably just a random naval invasion, though. Yep. Don't think that's going to hold. And here's the second landing. Now we just need to take the coast. Ready to move. Oh, we got three landings. Okay, this was a hell of a lot more successful than I could have possibly hoped. Go, go, go. All in. You have my permission to execute. Go. Go, 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 go. Let's link this up. Ready. Ready. Uh, 
And there we are. Done. Attention. Listen up. So let's give you a new order. I want you to basically right now take as much of this territory as you possibly can. Go. Kind of wish I had a little bit more support for you, but that will come in time. And apparently my navy is trouncing the Ready. Uh, Chinese navy. Yeah, you guys are going after my supply here. That's not good. Well, actually, now we've landed. The supply doesn't matter so much. And we have more factories. We are going to be stealing a lot of Chinese factories here. Um, what are we going to need? I need to buy more rubber. That's a start. What am I short on? Mechanized. Light tanks. Mechanized and light tanks. And we also really need to buy in some more rubber from somebody. Brazil certainly could. There is a serious shortage of rubber. This is why I needed to get self-sufficient in terms of rubber production. More synthetic factories. The other thing we need to do is build infrastructure here. Max it out. Build up naval yards. Need to make sure we get our resources in. Uh, also, do we have any airfields yet? No. That should be okay. And yes, please do be aggressive. And once you've done your job of taking the whole islands. So once the Philippines are fully ours, I mean, we are going to lose this, but we can just turn around. No! That's... Actually, you're not here. It's fine. Uh, how long are you out for this time? 30 days. That's better than when you were wounded. Four. Up. All of Leningrad. Leningrad, the former capital of the Russian Empire, has been occupied by Finnish forces. With a population of just 3 million, the city has nearly as many inhabitants as that of the whole of Finland. But this fact is evidently not deterred the Finnish attackers. There is some debate as to whether the city should be integrated into Greater Finland since the Ingrian Finns make up a considerable minority in the regions outside of the city. This of course assumes that the Red Army is unable to retake the city in a counter-offensive. Why are we invading China? Why not? I forgot rule number one, never get involved in a land war in Asia. I'm fine! I have cars! I, I, I can drive. Oh, I have a very good plan for Asia. It's called having cars. Alright, so Philippines have basically fallen. I'm going to wait until we've actually marched into that one province with these guys. Which is now. Your job is simple. Take back my islands. They've taken my very important infra infrastructure up there in the north. But you should be more than capable of doing this now. We are demolishing their imports. Thanks to a very heavy naval presence, because I'm not fighting the Japanese. I'm not actually expecting to push very far out here. If I make it to this line, I'll be overjoyed. Because remember, these guys are going to join them once they've done with the uh, Philippines, then the real pushing is going to be done by these guys, which are my um, medium tanks and mechanized. And then the infantry are just there to hold what I take. And eventually will be replaced with motorized 
when the really big um, tracts of land are involved. Because don't forget, we're fighting against China and Russia, and you are asking, why am I fighting China and Russia? Because there is a very good chance that India is going to join them. India's gone down the independence path, and the only one that's available down the independence path is to join the Soviets, because Germany is not fascist. So we could then be up against India, China, and the Soviet Union at the same time. I do not want to do that. I'd rather take out China and the Soviets now while I can. And there we go, the Philippines have capitulated. Douglas MacArthur has announced that the cowardly Philippine nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Confederate forces. So we just need to kill these two units, and then all of this green unit can go and support the uh, Chinese invasion. There's the better artillery, there's the new logistics units, both of which very important developments. Let's continue upgrading the artillery, let's continue upgrading the logistics. Supply is going to be a big issue. We're sorting that. Uh, Senator from Washington offers support. His state suffers from critical underinvestment and the government's initiated economic stimulus program would certainly help him reconsider his stance on certain proposed government policies. The Senator sits on several important committees and is quite famous for being able to cut deals, making his vote worth several more in both houses. Okay, is that Washington State or Washington, D.C.? Because if it's Washington, D.C., there are factories available for being built. And if it's Washington State, there are not. Oh, yes, there is. There's one. So which is it? More to the point, where is it? Should be at the top. There it is. Washington. I guess that's state, not city. Yeah, because that's in Maryland. Okay, so you need a civilian factory. Bit of a waste, but sure. Have a civilian factory. Upgrade my artillery. And I am really short on rubber. Flipping hell. Alright, we'll start buying from the UK. I doubt that Germany can intercept us. Probably. Hopefully. Go, go, go! Smoke generators, that's the navy going to be awesome. Um, let's get magnetic detonators, let's make you better at killing, we'll make the submarines better at killing stuff. Okay, Philippines are entirely ours. So let's go and double up our defences here. We're going to have the Greens, I think, in the south, so we'll say your job is to take that. And we'll move the purples up accordingly later. Ready, sir. Are you ready? You are ready. Yes, sir. So we're going to bring in our small mechanized force. Um... I think your job is going to be to try and get up there and block that off if we can do it. So we're going to have you in the far north. In fact, you can just go straight for Nanjing. Yes, sir. Motorized forces are also ready. Let's bring them in. And your job is also going to be to go north. 
your job's going to be to take down the Soviet Union. Small ambitions and all that. Just double check all the infrastructure and stuff here is being built. It is. Uh, I also really want to have an airbase. Good. I can now build airbases. Couldn't do that earlier. Thankfully, we have the might of American industry behind us. Escort effort is done, so we build destroyers even faster. Uh, convoy tactics doesn't get us anything. Submarine surface detection sub visibility would be nice. Our most likely opponents in this naval war will rely on foreign trade, which is shown to be very vulnerable to submarines. These submarines would have to have very long range to allow them to cross the oceans and operate close to enemy shores. Cruiser submarine hull. That seems to be a unique cruiser. Yes, sir. Alright, so you've yes, got sir. 15. So we can get another 9 mechanised. So we'll start training them. Let's make sure my destroyers remain good at their jobs. Okay, so the greens are arriving, so we can start shifting the purples away from this. are also going to be in the north. Apparently. I was in Scotland, yes. How many golf courses did I see? I wasn't really looking out for golf courses. Not in the centre of Edinburgh. Why am I invading China? Because China is currently in allied to the Soviet Union and there's a very strong chance that they'll also get an alliance with India. And I really don't want to fight those three when they're united. So I'm taking down that possibility right now. Ready. You are supposed to have switched, but you haven't done so. Why not? We are taking attrition here, but not a huge amount, not yet. So far, so good in this invasion. A couple of counterattacks forming up. Not liking the sound of that. Okay, we have an airbase. I would very much like to bring in a bunch of Fighter 2s. In order to get air superiority. Which apparently I can do with just one plane. Meanwhile, how are these guys doing? Moscow is definitely under threat. Latvia is pushing very well. Actually, this is Latvia and Finland. Those guys are pushing really hard. But Finland only just entered this war, so that was probably a bit of a surprise attack. Meanwhile, the Allies are holding the Italians off. And having opened this front, that's also going to be diverting troops away. Although, bear in mind, I am technically at war with Germany as well. For reasons which are arcane and completely unintended. Is Douglas MacArthur still the leader? Yes, he is. Am I annexing or puppeting China? I'll probably puppet them. So they can have access to their manpower. Their vast amount of manpower. Where are these 
this guy is not moving over there. Is this literally just a supply issue? Yes. Okay. And that supply issue should become less of a concern as we actually get this infrastructure built. And it is being built with maximum speed, so it should ultimately be okay. Mechanized forces are almost here, then we can really start to push them out. Although, actually, you don't have logistics companies or signal companies yet. Because I didn't have the points for them, I do now. And the Stonewall companies are fully developed. Stuart companies don't have logistics or signals. more than enough support equipment to maintain that, so it's all good. Here comes the Alpha Salvador units. You know, the ones that just had a really long holiday in America. Well, they finally arrived. What I'd really like to do is take enough of Guangdong so I can actually start building the infrastructure there. That's quite important. Also, these purples. Oh, that's why you're down here still. Because the purple objective is still here somewhere. There it is. Alright, so the reds are getting planning preparation. Once they're done, then I think I'm going to get the reds to push, not the purples. In fact, I'm going to stop the purples right now. There are a lot of troops down here. I, I sound like I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. What am I short on? Still a little bit short on mechanized, and we are going to need more of those going forwards. So let's go and invest in even more mechanized. We're also going to want more planes here soon. Listen up! Sixty-two convoys sunk. Hell yeah! That was a hell of an interception. Crikey. And four light cruisers. Yeah, Navy is definitely showing their worth right now. That was really good. That was an excellent interception. Well done. Well done indeed. Ready to move. Are we ready? Tomorrow. Go. Really? You fail. Uh use these guys as support then I guess. Your armor cannot be pierced, but their defense is good enough. They've they've had time to entrench. So my tank divisions don't hit hard enough. That's good to know. Okay, so we are going to have to increase Pickett's force size strength. So we're going to add more tanks because we need the breakthrough. We're going to add more mechanized and we're also going to add more mobile artillery. 